Hello and good morning to Jack Spain Studio Live, a window to independent game development and streaming live three times a week on Twitch. And today. Right, today, what we have today, let's recap um, what happened during the weekend. It was a quite productive weekend. Um, now the editor does a couple of interesting stuff. Uh, let me show it uh, properly. Um, get rid of this. So what the editor does right now is, as usual, you load an FPX. Uh, a little bit of usability improvement here. It just remembers the last file and last scale. So I don't have to go there and uh, uh, go browse all the time and find the file. Right, OK, so we load the FBX file. Now what we can do, like last time, we can, for example, uh, select the net material and set it to alpha tested. And the cool thing is that we can now save this. And then if I open the, um, the file again, Back, the, the, it remembers the, the material setting. So it's got this concept of uh, two files associated, which is the FBX file and the project file that live together. And so the editor is saving this file that contains all the, all the information about uh, the materials and the meshes uh, settings that get changed into, into the editor. So every time an FBX is loaded automatically, all those settings come in. And if an artist wants to restart from scratch, he can get rid of this uh, project file, which is cool. Another uh, cool thing is now we have the, uh, the export function that is actually working. So I can export to this file that I call JX1. And the interesting thing is that we can also load in, and now I'll show you why it's important to have this kind of function. So this is the time it takes to load an FBX. It's like one, two, three, four, five, let's say four seconds and a half to load this FBX, right? Um, let's say the time it takes to load the optimized uh, file. So we go here, bam, <laughs> it's instantly there. You can't even count how long it takes. So that's good. There are also a little bit of improvements uh, on these boats. The um, triangle count went down to 99,000 from 178,000. It's still too much for what it is, but it's starting to get a little bit more details like uh, uh, the internal of this is now hollow, right? Like it should be. That's better. A little bit um, uh, fixes, so it's now much easier from the driving position to have a look at the foil and the the, the boat height over the water, which is going to be very important in in this game and we can almost see um you know this is going to be super tricky because i would really like ideally to have a you know a view of this of this um you know basically we are trying to have a look at this um while we're playing from here and this is very important because you can imagine that when we are uh, tacking on trying to, to hit the buoy, uh, we're going to hit it with the, you know, with the hull on the other side where, where we are sitting as a driver. So having a good visibility of this guy over there, it's, it's very important. So, but we will never know how it really feels until we can actually drive this thing. So what's the plan for today? Um, the plan for today is a couple of things. Uh, the first thing that I have uh, is to 
Uh, right now I have my um, integration with the physics engine ODE um, set as um, 64 uh, bytes float, floating point. I don't need, and thank you, Ipo, Ipo, Christo, Ipo Christotle for, for the follow. Um, I don't think I don't think I need 64 bits. So what I'm going to do is prepare it and put it down to 32 bit. Now the, the big problem about this floating point thing is how I'm going to test it because I have one one possibility is to test it with the with the flight simulator. That's a possibility, uh, but it also also means that I will have to go in the flight simulator and, and fix all the code to make sure that is uh, running 32 bits. All right. All right. Okay. So it builds. Let's see if it works. If it works. We completed, uh, of course, it's not going to link. Or it's going to link. Yeah, it's going to link and it's going to crash because it's linking. To... Yeah. yeah, it's working. Right, still flying. So that's promising. We're done with this. Mostly rust. Okay, so let's come to the fun part today, which is how we organize this project. So right now, but you know, I don't think I don't think this is going anywhere. This system. Hi, Jason. How are you? I don't think this system is going anywhere. The other thing that I can do, though, is to make is to make this the executable. Yeah, but I wish I fell. I wish I fell in a more dignified way, like you know, going fast or doing something, going through a corner or something. I was going through a corner, but I was going through a corner super slow, and the corner was there was a huge banking. It was right in front of my house, so I took the bike. I went for a one hour drive and then I came back home and I was literally doing the last corner before arriving in my place and it was very hilly so it was going up and there was a huge bank so I, I went to turn and there was a car coming out from the the small road where I would go and there was no space for me in the car so I had to stop and I had to stop and I was too inclined I just couldn't <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't keep the motorbike up, and I ended up with with the back the back of my leg had like a huge, like I don't know how to say in English. It's like a under skin blood thing. Very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. And of course, I scratched the the bike on the first day, which is uh, not good. No, a compound fracture. No, no, <laughs> no. But it hurt like hell. And actually, it 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 was a. I think it was a, a couple of weeks before I could go out again. It will be nice if it told me which which DLL is missing. But all right, I'll leave with that. Okay, so we have a an horizon, a skybox. And now we should be able to move the mouse. Let's see. Yep. Cool. Now let's put something ugly that will look like the sea. 
Yeah, because oh my god, today I'm really off. I'm really off. Nothing. Look at this sea, so so beautiful. <laughs> Not really. Looks like shit, but it's okay. It's okay. It will allow us to do what we need to do today. I mean, today, this week. Right. Let me put. So, are you telling me that I do need this? All right. Um, let me start with the camera a little bit higher. Why the autocomplete is, is gone? Why? Why the autocomplete is gone? This is not good. And I'm not gonna play guitar, I need to work, I need to work. Game state. I don't know why. I don't know why. But for some reason, ah, okay. Can you help now? Ah, we got, we got autocomplete back. Thank you very much. So game still. Ah, finally. Okay. So we start on the top of this. Should I put the boat just for a laugh? Let me put the boat. Call render one is called draw. Go figure. Probably I should rename that. All right, let, let's see. Holy shit. Holy shit, my heart. <laughs> All right, let's put the boat in the sea. Look at that, look at that. Ship it. <laughs> Ship it. Where is Steam? Let's go. It's ready. It's ready. 40 euro. Game ready. I had to fix this shadows. They look like shit. You cannot really see where, where is the point of all right look at that look at that look at that but <laughs> it's roll on the wrong side should roll on the other side oh major major mozzarella is bringing six people uh, what we want to do, we should do a, a very basic physics, a very basic, at least I want to see this boat if I can make, the problem is this is going to take me ages to do the physics system. I would like to see at least the boat fall into the water into the nothing oh yes and we need to update the update ones in theory that's all we need to see the boat falling into nothing so just to make sure that we can see it let's put the boat like 50 meter in the air And I guess let's let's try. Probably it will not be able to exit, but I'm tired, so let's let's see what happens. Let's just go for it. Where are you? Where is the boat? Did it fall? Oh shit! Here it is. 
Is it falling? It's not really falling. That's uh well I could I could I could make it. Anyway, uh where is the boat? Where is the boat? Here it is! It's falling! Far Alright. We got the physic boat. That's cool. I think I think we made what we wanted to make today. So my hope is that for next stream on Wednesday, I will have, uh, well, I have to show you though. I'm not gonna have that boat. <laughs> I'm not gonna have that boat floating because that's too many triangles. My hope is to have this absolute masterpiece that I did yesterday. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Right? So my hope is to have this guy floating by Wednesday afternoon when I have my next stream. And anyway, if you made it through this video up to now, thank you very much. And please like, follow, subscribe, share on social media. And I will see you for the next stream Wednesday at 6 p.m. Ciao.